An American Muslim student accepted as a Citadel cadet will not attend that military school after all. The school denied her request to wear a hijab to class. News 2's Libba Holland spoke with the student's representative via Skype and has more. In short, the student and her family are disappointed, and they say the student cannot attend the college if this decision stands. Earlier today, the Citadel President, Lieutenant General John Rosa, said in a statement, the adoption of the common uniform is the, quote, cornerstone of their leadership development model. Rosa went on to say, quote, this process reflects an initial relinquishing of self, during which cadets learn the value of teamwork to function as a single unit. But the hijab is very important to American Muslims. A spokesperson for the Council on American Islamic Relations, who spoke with the student's family today after the announcement, says the hijab is a religious obligation for those who wear it. The Citadel's decision makes it impossible for the student to attend the military college. The spokesperson says the school's decision is unconstitutional. Our own nation's military uh, offers uh, accommodation for hijab or headscarves, for turbans, for Sikh officers, for uh, beards. Uh, so if our own nation's military can offer that accommodation and feel and uh, uh, obviously believe that it doesn't uh, uh, harm military discipline or uh, fighting efficiency, uh, there's no reason the Citadel can't offer that. The Citadel's president wrote in his statement that the school does make accommodations for students when needed. He says he respects their religious beliefs. The family plans to work with Hooper and the Muslim Civil Rights Organization to decide their next step. They plan to look at legal options. Libba Holland, News 2.